In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a branch from the Bitbucket source code repository for the HDS View Power Builder code that can then be used in a Bamboo build release code move. The first step is to go into Bitbucket and switch into the View 125 repository. You can see here it goes into the master branch. Really what we want to get is under this clone option, copy the HTTP URL to clone this repository. From there, we're going to go to a uh, empty folder. And in that folder, we're going to use Tortoise Git to clone the repository locally. To do that, right click Tortoise Git, I'm sorry, Git clone, and paste in the URL of the source code repository and hit OK and the code will get pulled down locally into a folder. That was successful, close that window. Now, using Tortoise Git, we're going to create a new branch and switch to it. There is a couple of ways to do this, depending on what um, the code is that you're looking to ultimately compile into the build that you want. The first option is to right click on the folder, go to Tortoise Git, and you can do a switch checkout. In the switch checkout, window, you pick the branch from which you want to start. In this case, we'll call it master. The option you want to check is create new branch and then give it an appropriate name. And then click OK. That will create a new prod push sample branch. That is creating it from master, which has the most recent code that you uh, that has been committed to the repository. Another option may be you want to pick from a earlier commit uh, to start your branch build from. There may be uh, additional commits out there that you are more recent that you don't want to include to the build. So it, uh, the second option in which to create the branch is to right click uh, and choose tortoise git and then you can use the show log option. The show log screen will come up and that has all of the uh, commits that are present in the master branch. And what you can do then is pick from a previous commit, right click on that commit. We'll just pick uh, this one here as a sample and you can create I'm sorry, you can switch checkout to this or create branch at this version. Either one does a similar thing. If we do switch checkout to this, it will uh, show that we are want to create a new branch and uh, we'll just give it a name prod push sample and click OK. That it was successful. Now at this point, we can close down that log window. At this point, we have a prod push sample branch created uh, in the rep local repository. The next thing we want to do is uh, use Tortoise Git to revert or cherry pick any commits that we would like to be in that new branch we just created. To do that, you can right click on the repository, choose Tortoise Git, and then do the show log option again. And it should come up to the prod push sample branch that was just created. And you can see it starts from exactly where we did our switch checkout to. And so for this case, let's do go ahead and do a revert. Um, perhaps we want to revert this uh, commit uh, that has it was from a couple of days back. It is not tested out. It's not ready to go. But this, uh, this, this, these other commits are. So we're going to go ahead and take this commit. And if you right click on it, 
there is an option to um, revert the change by this commit and you can go ahead and say yes and after the revision is done it will ask you if you want to commit these changes to the branch and that comes up in a window and fills in a comment for you and you can go ahead and commit it at that point this commit is only to the local repository you've done nothing to the bitbucket repository at this point so this is where you can do a lot of uh, work and I've had things go wrong in the past where I committed the wrong I've reverted the wrong thing or cherry picked the wrong thing you could always just scrap the entire repos local repository and start over with this process but we'll proceed forward here close the uh, that that um, revert is now in our prod push sample branch and now let's say there's something more recent that we want to cherry pick into this branch to be part of the build. You can click on the prod push sample uh, branch name up here and it will bring up the um, the, the very, all the branches within the repository. Let's say we want to go pick something from master. We can go ahead and click master and click OK and it now will show us the log from the master branch and let's say we want to cherry pick uh, this item here, this commit into our prod push sample branch. You can then right click it and say cherry pick this commit. And that will bring up the cherry pick window and you can say continue. And that went ahead and cherry picked it into the branch. So now if I switch back to my prod push sample branch, I'll see the um, reversion of the commit that I wanted not to be in the branch and the commit of the cherry picked commit that was in the branch. At this point, you may have other reverts and cherry picks you want to do. You can go ahead and do that using the techniques I just demonstrated. Or if you are done, you can go ahead and push this branch back up to the main Bitbucket repository. To do that, you come back to the repository in the file folder you created. You right click, you go to Tortoise Git option, and you can go ahead and do a push. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and just choose to push the prod push sample branch that we created, and we're going to say OK. And that was successful. And then if we go back here to Bitbucket and we refresh our screen, we will see a prod push sample branch in the Bitbucket repository with the reverted code and the cherry pick code that we wanted. That concludes this video. In a subsequent video, I will demonstrate how to use Bamboo to create a new build for the HDS View Power Builder application that uses this newly created branch.